How's everybody doing today? How's it going, Shallow? Doing good. Thanks for asking. Thank you for doing this. Um, just how do you think that, that you have played these first three games, and how do you think the secondary has played as a whole? Well, um, coming from developing as a safety from last year and just working to get in the mix this year, I think I've been doing good, just learning more about the game and, uh, you know, getting out there, making some plays, making some tackles. And uh, I think I think as a whole, our defense is looking good. Ben? Uh, hey, Shiloh, what's been sort of the, the biggest adjustment to, to, to playing as much as you kind of have? And has anything surprised you about taking on sort of a bigger role, anything that you kind of had to get used to? I mean, like, since I've played in the games, like, to me, it just feels just like practice in the scrimmages. And I've been waiting to play. So I've just been waiting to go out there and do what I do. And I already know what I do. I just have to show y'all, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's, it's just like practice. Pretty much. Dick Cox? Shiloh, you've grown up in a famous football family. What's the best advice or tip your father's ever given you? Just work hard every day. Don't worry about none. That's pretty much it. Uh, ben? Uh, Shiloh, what kind of a challenge has it been for you guys to sort of adjust with having Israel kind of in and out of the lineup and not having – uh, Jalen last week. How how sort of tricky has that been to manage for you guys as a secondary? Well, with all the time that, all the extra time that we had with COVID and all that, we've had like a big opportunity to get everyone on the defense on the same page with the plays. So we could, if we need to change something up like that, it's, it's seamless, you know what I'm saying? So everybody's ready to play. Colin? Hey, Shiloh, what have you seen from Auburn in the film that you guys have been able to watch um, and, and how how talented is Bo Nix and what can he kind of do um, now that you've been able to kind of dissect him a little bit? Um, they're a good team. They do a lot of different stuff that we've been working on today in practice. But, uh, yeah, I know they got some good players, but as long as we do what we do, we ain't worried about none. Josh? Hey, Shallow, have you gotten a uh, scholarship offer from Jackson State yet? <laughs> no, nah, when me and my dad talk, we don't really talk about that. But, uh, you know, I'm proud of him. He's, he's finally being head coach. I'm glad to see what he does over there. How head coach do you think he's going to be? You said what? So what kind of head coach do you think he's going to be? Well, I, I played for him before, and he, he's definitely going to get on your tail if you don't do the right stuff. So he, he's all about discipline. Are he and Muschamp similar in any way? He's probably the loudest voice that I've heard yell, like louder than Muschamp. He's the only one that could top him. So, so, so the, the yelling is it's Muschamp is two and your dad is one. Yeah, for sure. Eric Boynton. Yeah, Shallow was the uh, atmosphere dramatically different around practice. You know, finally getting a much needed win. Is it just an extra bounce in everybody's step, and maybe just uh, you know everybody maybe a little bit more uh, excited about the year now that you guys uh, came out with a win Saturday? Yeah, like we're supposed to win, you know. So when whenever we win and come back to practice today, it's like we already focus on on the next week, the next game. You know what I'm saying? So we we didn't really get caught up too much in that. We just have to finish out the rest of the season strong. Any react? Do you have any reaction to seeing how many points have been scored in the early going in the SEC so far this year in a, in a conference that's you know traditionally been known to have really good defenses? Yeah, I, I don't really know too much about none of that. Okay. We're we're just trying to hold them, you know, to as much to as least amount of points they can get. John Whittle. Yeah, Shallow, I think you said the best advice your dad's giving you is aside from working hard is just not to worry about anything. You know, how, how difficult is that to do? And how, like JC was in here talking, talking a few minutes ago about seeing people giving him flack for not catching that interception, that one handed interception. How, how difficult is it to tune out the noise? And, and does it come with an extra added uh, difficulty for you because you have, because of your dad being who he is? I mean, it's just a, a high expectation, and I'd rather have high expectation than low expectation. So, like, that's not that's not a bad thing at all. And I could definitely play up to that, and that's what I want to put on the field every weekend. 
are, are there any times when when it's hard to tune things out just from just from your standpoint not even considering dad but just just from your standpoint is it is it harder to tune things out occasionally no it's not as hard as you think it's, it's easy you just got to focus and do what you was born to do that's what i'm doing so pete, pete? Hey, Shiloh, I was just wondering if you or anybody in your family was concerned after the um, it came out that Vanderbilt's game was canceled this week uh, coming up because of COVID concerns. I, I didn't know whether you guys were worried about that or gave it a, gave it much thought. I didn't even know about that, but we test so much here. That I'm not worried about any of that. We test way too much, way too much. Mike? Uh, Shell, I mean, between between you and uh, JC's background, of course, you guys have a lot of similarities with your fathers playing in the NFL. What is that relationship like between you two, especially playing, you know, the same, well, you know, at least defensive backs? What does that help you in, in terms of being able to grow? I mean, we both got NFL blood, and uh, we both have a high expectation that was set before we was even born. So we just, we just both try to play the best we can, you know. That's all you can really do with that. Ben? Uh, Shiloh, what would you say is the biggest difference between you as a player at the end of last season and, and you as a player right now? Just knowledge. Just knowledge of the game, knowledge of the defense. And the more the, the more the defense you know, the faster you can play. And the more control I feel like I got over the field situations because you know the defense. You know how the defense is going to work. You know if you get a certain look, what are you going to do, you know what I'm saying, to counter that? you know where to be. So it, it just helps you play faster, just knowing what to do. And that's the biggest difference with me from last year and right now.